We recently told you about a brand new awesome tournament coming called Battle of the Martial Arts. It will be held right here in South Florida this November, and it aims to bring back the respect and integrity of what tournaments used to be. And due to popular request, grappling divisions have just been added so it's no longer exclusive to just stand up fighting. So now that all arts are welcome to compete, let's find out what the rule sets are, the amazing grand prize is at stake, the celebrity guests involved, and why this is an event you're not going to want to miss. Well, nowadays, if you look at tournaments, it's basically a game of tag. There's no skills, even though the competitors nowadays, I feel, are much better than they were back then, but they're being allowed to get away with sloppy techniques, and I want to bring back the martial part into the martial arts for the tournament. So the Battle of the Martial Arts is a martial arts tournament where we're rewarding the competitors and bringing back old school rules, but of course with gear. So the old school rules include sweeping the person to the ground or grabbing and then following it up with a strike, as well as the person on the ground being able to strike you from the ground. So the Battle of the Martial Arts is a, a great, large, new tournament coming out. It's going to be focused on giving back to the athletes. And it was mainly a tournament for the striking martial arts, karate, taekwondo, etc. But I'm really excited to be bringing the grappling into it as well. So we've been getting a lot of calls from competitors saying that, you know, we're calling ourselves the Battle of the Martial Arts, but we're not including every martial art and including, you know, grappling. And so we're happy to announce that we're going to please you guys. We are including grappling, so we are going to have a jiu-jitsu tournament as well. Where's the grappling, right? Where's the wrestling? Where's the jiu-jitsu? Where's that? And so I was very lucky that Alex reached out to me and gave me the opportunity to be the liaison and bringing that in because it is part of the martial arts. Martial arts represents every range, every form of fighting, and grappling is a huge part of that. I think MMA has proved that, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is a massive force along with other grappling styles. So the sponsors for our event are Builders Insurance and Innovative Insurance Consultants. And without them, this wouldn't be happening. So we're very thankful to have them on board. Make sure you check them out. I think that most of us who have been doing martial arts for a long time, the reason we got into it wasn't necessarily to game a rule set or win a game. It was because we wanted to be good at fighting and defending ourselves and expressing ourselves through martial arts. And I think a lot of times, a lot of the rules have shifted and then gamed in a way that kind of takes that spirit out of it. And I think that going back to the older rules allows the full spirit and breadth of the martial art to be expressed. I've been doing martial arts my whole life. I actually started when I was a little kid because of Ninja Turtles. I started off doing Taekwondo and then I began into American Kempo. From there I did kickboxing, some Muay Thai, got into Judo, and then eventually some Kung Fu and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. From there, I kind of shifted my focus slowly more and more into the grappling and now my profession is that I travel and teach seminars in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu around the world. And so I really have an affinity for not just the grappling styles, but also the striking styles, but I have the unique perspective of being very fond and of both. So the tournament is open to all ages, ranks, and styles, and it's going to be a no-gi and gi divisions, as well as the absolute. So this is still part of the Battle of the Martial Arts, it's just going to be a separate division. So just like we have forms and we have sparring, we now have jiu-jitsu. So the grappling division is going to be in the exact same venue on the exact same day, going on with all the same excitement. However, it's going to be in a separate set of rings so that they don't disturb each other. So that the same time that someone is, is competing in point karate or continuous fighting or forms, on the other end of the convention center, you can go down and see someone doing a flying triangle or an arm bar. So we're gonna be, because of the fact that the, uh, the kids take a little bit longer, we wanna give them the full attention, give them as much experience as possible, we decide to separate the kids and adults into two separate days. So the adults don't have to wait until the end of the day because they're waiting on the kids, they get to have full attention on them, but also the kids get to have a fully committed staff of referees and staff that are gonna help them out with their day, making it important and special to them. Every single one of our judges will be paid and compensated for their time along with a head referee and they will be trained and know the rule set inside and out. So we're giving out over $50,000 in grand prices. Uh, for the karate, we have 5,000 for forms and weapons and overall competitor. For the sparring, both female and male get to walk away with 15,000. Then for jujitsu, we have the absolute, all six of them each get $1,000. Usually we only have one absolute and that kind of tends that the super lightweights kind of get left out so we split them in two we have an under 170 pounds absolute for the men in both gi and no gi 
and a open absolute, which is all weight classes for the men, which is gonna be split into called light heavy, uh, sorry, lightweight absolute and heavyweight absolute. And then for the women, we have an absolute both in gi and no gi, all six divisions being paid $1,000. So equal pay for everybody and hoping to draw a lot of the great competitors around the state of Florida and the Southeast and beyond. Whoever brings the most students is gonna walk away with $1,500. The second school gets 750 and the third school with the most students gets 250. And that's after the 10% of the registration going back to the school owners. So the rule set that we're doing is based upon the grappling industries rule set with a few tiny changes to ensure both exciting matches but also safety for our competitors. Right now, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is in kind of a interesting place where we have lots of rule sets. There's um, IBJJF, which I think is the most um, widespread gi rule set. We have ADCC, which is probably the most uh, popular no gi rule set right now. And then we have, uh, in my opinion, what is a great rule set that kind of unifies both of them in um, the grappling industries rule set. And so we kind of tried to strike a balance in the middle so that we didn't have to have an entirely different rule set for both the gi and no gi divisions. We have kind of a, a centrist one with the main difference being there's certain leg locks such as heel hooks and leg scissors that are only allowed in the no gi divisions. But whereas in the gi divisions, we're introducing leg locks a little bit earlier than the more traditional rule sets. And so Grappling Industries has been around for a long time, I'm a very big fan of the rule set. The only real big change between our rule set and Grappling Industries is that we're not allowing jumping guard because I believe that it really doesn't bring anything to the game. It can cause injuries that are catastrophic and also usually when it doesn't, leads to about a bit of stalling. So by taking away the guard jump, you're still allowed to pull guard, but you're not allowed to jump guard. Try to encourage action, takedowns, and wrestling as well as the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Any grappling style, you're perfectly welcome. We will be using the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu belts for the Gi Division ranking. And in the no gi, we'll be using time and experience. The most important thing is that if you were a collegiate wrestler, a professional MMA fighter, any kind of professional grappler, or if you are a black belt in judo, you are not allowed to sign up for any of the beginner and novice divisions. You must start at least in the intermediate divisions. Overall, we've been getting calls nonstop. Everyone is super excited to show up. We've had a lot of people register. I mean, they're coming internationally. So this is gonna be huge. We're actually thinking we're gonna to have to put a cap on the limit of people we accept. Uh, the tournament is gonna to be November 16th and 17th at the Broward County Convention Center in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Anyone can go register at thebattleofthemartialarts.com or if you wanted to do the karate part of the registration, that's gonna be done on my Juventix. If you wanted to do the Jiu Jitsu part, that's gonna be done through Smooth Comp. They can sign up directly for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu on Smooth Comp, which is gonna be our event, Battle of Martial Arts on Smooth Comp. There is a, a link on all the flyers that you can just go directly to, or you can go to battleofmartialarts.com and click on the Jiu Jitsu section. So we're hoping that this is the first of many where we revolutionize the sport and uh, again, bring back the martial arts into the martial arts tournaments by starting them on time and having everyone pre-registered. So we're hoping that this turns out to be a really good event. Uh, the goal this year is just to kind of give exposure to grappling in the uh, greater martial arts setting alongside the karate and kickboxing and other martial arts. But the goal as we grow would be to, um, I think maybe shift into an even more exciting um, style of it. Recently this year there was a one million dollar tournament in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu by the Craig Jones Invitational. I think that following in that footstep along with other leagues such as the PGF, we're in a really exciting time in martial arts where it's really starting to get professional and more and more people are seeing the value in this. And so the idea would be to follow and maybe integrate with those guys and get even bigger, maybe have it in the pit or the alley or just move on and have it be you know, just like the NBA or the NFL, a sport where an athlete can make a proper living. The Battle of the Martial Arts is part of the Fit and Flex Expo at the Broward Convention Center here in Fort Lauderdale on November 16th and 17th. In addition to competitive events, you'll have a chance to meet many of the martial arts legends we've all grown up with, such as Cynthia Rothrock, Bill Superfoot Wallace, Benny DeJet, Don and Dragon Wilson, Daryl Vidal, Chris Casamasa, and several other high profile tournament champions. Don't miss the opportunity to meet all of them under the same roof at an awesome event. With all arts welcome, it will be interesting to see who wins the Battle of the Martial Arts. Hope to see you there.